Hey everyone, it's Unearth Collectors here. We're opening up two boxes. We have a 2019 Holiday Box and a 2019 Topps Chrome Mega Box. Both of these are found in your retail stores. One, the Topps Chrome in Target, and the Topps Mega Boxes are found in Walmart and also in Meyer stores. So uh, check them out. And they're both 19, well, actually, I take that back. The, the Chromes are cheaper. They're 19.99 and the holiday boxes run about $22 to $23. Let's go look at the odds on both those. I'll start with the... Uh, both very hard to hit autos out of, um, but both very fun for the price. We actually did get an autograph out of a holiday box off camera last night. Um, who even was it? Was that one? Hammer. Picture? Yeah. The, the hammer. Something hammer for the Phillies. Uh, uh, pitcher, hard, I think, yeah. right? Was he a Philly? Yeah, yeah I think I'm so. pretty sure. All right, so Chrome update. Got a numbered card right in the back there. That's kind of interesting because those are pretty difficult yeah, to pull. Yeah, those are pretty hard to pull. So we got a Keston Huria rookie. Javier Baez, Mookie Betts, and an Edwin Encarnacion purple out of 175. It's not a bad start. I think these are, we haven't pulled a parallel yet. Purples are on every 105 packs, so it's not Yeah, very so it's easy pretty hard. Yeah, the, the stuff is really tough um, to pull anything out of, really. It's, the odds are very hard to get anything decent. They are nice-looking cards, though. There's they are. Biggio and a they nice are. Frank Thomas insert. And for the price, I mean, for 20 bucks, it's the same price as a blaster. And you can add nice things to your PC, collect some of the good rookies, so... Not a and, bad value, but uh, to get anything special is really tough. Yeah, exactly. It's actually very, very tough. I mean, we, in the past couple of years, have opened up a lot of these and maybe gotten one decent card a year, and that's about yeah, it. Yeah, that's about it, yep. But, like, that's, that's a good card right there, yep. Kettle Marte, Pete Alonso. Yeah. I say this is the strongest year for this stuff, just no. based off the rookies. It could be eventually, but as of right now, it just isn't. Well, like last year, Soto's only rookie chrome was in this so yeah exactly his only rookie chrome until now is still in it right you know obviously so got a whip merrifield jake rizzi oscar mercado and matthew beady the cards look good that's They're for sure. awesome looking that's nice trout on the back lane thomas rookie jonathan scope yaziel puig and a nice trout and last pack here Got Mitch Keller rookie, Clayton Kershaw, Francisco Lindor, and Wilson Contreras. All right, so nothing too crazy out of there. Wasn't too bad though. Pretty decent little update. Box. Yeah. Now that baseball season's over, what are you guys watching? Do you watch basketball? Do you watch hockey? Do you watch football? Or do you just wait for baseball to start up again? Let us know in the comments below. Have you opened up Chrome? Have you opened up, or Chrome Update, or have you opened up the holiday boxes? Let us know also that. Now, this is this one, you're going to get more packs, that's for more sure. Cards. More cards. Um, and I would say more value because I would agree. there's these cards, um, some of them sell actually halfway well so I think we got a trout ssp out of here and it's sold for like 70 or 80 dollars yeah about 80 dollars yeah it's pretty good i feel like this is a little blurry no it's not just moving it up farther doesn't help there's a devers i've seen devers autographs and this ooh, mike trout here we go oh it's a different one it's the Christmas bulb. So we've got all three trouts so far. We got the short, super short print where there's a Santa Claus up here. The rare one has a Christmas tree right here. And then this is the most common, I believe, with the um, ornaments up here. So the ornaments are up there. That's pretty cool. No, this is the middle one. Oh, the middle one. Sorry. The Christmas tree one is the uh, short print. And this is called the rare. And so the code is 64. So it goes six three six four and six five. Six five is the most. I'm getting instructed by our camera crew to put the cards back for better alignment. 
and focus. I got some new yeah. glasses. Or actually, no. <laughs> take it. To, let's go back a step. Not new glasses. I got new lenses for my glasses. So being an older person than I am, not quite a senior citizen yet, Basically. thankfully. But Basically. Luke thinks I am. I don't have a cane or anything. Um, but uh, I had to get the graduated lenses so now i look down and i can read a little bit better but also i have to get used to them because i gotta look up to see from a little distance away our monitor or also our laptop so i can see what i'm doing on the screen here oh here's another short print so this could be a little bit of a hot box there's a snowman right there obviously no snowman in oakland however speaking of snow we have 14 inches of fresh snow in our lawn on our driveway. I had a snow day today. Luke so had I mean, a snow day, and it is November 12th. That's pretty Very solid. early, probably one of the earliest snow days I remember in recent history, and that much snow. I mean, we had 14 inches one place in Michigan about an hour from us. People claim they had 30 inches of snow, all lake effect snow. The Lake Effect snow machine came into full effect last night. Luke had a soccer banquet for a soccer team, um, and we walked out of that thing, and it was just dumping snow. I missed one. Sorry, guys. This is the metallic right here. The brand, uh, Brendan, Brandon, Brendan, Brendan. Brendan. No, not Brandon Brennan. Brennan. Uh, sorry, I still can't read. Brandon. My eyes have to adjust in my with my brain. All right. Kingery. I can read that name. Meadows. It's kind of funny. You're just talking about how they're improving your reading. and then. Well, I never said they're improving my reading. I said I have to get used to them. The, I guess they're supposed to improve your reading skills. Yeah. Possibly. Here's a Chapman. It's in a weird place. It's a little unfortunate because normally when we have snow days up here in Michigan, I love to ice fish in the winter. So when you get a snow day, if the weather's not too bad and I can drive like the mile over to the lake and go ice fishing for the day, but there's no ice on the lakes yet, so can't do that. So Luke instead has been trying to watch ice yeah, fishing watch videos. Ice fishing videos, people like Minnesota and man, <laughs> man that are out in like this sketchy ice that is actually um, most of it's pretty solid now. Very Four dangerous. Yeah. If you ice fish, comment below, what's the earliest you've ever been out ice fishing? Um, we were talking about that today. Obviously, it's going to depend on where you live. If you live way up in Canada somewhere, probably been ice fishing since, you know, mid-August. But um, just kidding. Don't don't take offense to that. We have relatives that live way up in Canada. Um, but it is kind of a fun question. So we got our Ooh. little Shut relic up. here. Let's see who it is. It's a cardinal, and it's a bat relic, Azuna. Pretty nice. Nothing fancy there, but pretty nice. I like the bat relics. It's only the second bat relic we pulled out of this stuff, and we've opened up quite a few of these. We're going to make a bunch of sets. If you're interested in a set of holiday Tops Holiday, let us know. We'll be posting those on our eBay store soon, and we'll try to make it as reasonable as we can, but... Could be a fun little gift to give to a niece or nephew that may like to collect cards for Christmas. Um, and maybe you just want one because you are a card collector. Speaking of people counting, as like the first time I went last year was December 14th. Yeah, so if you could go this week, it'd be a month earlier. That's pretty crazy. This is the guy we pulled the autograph of, Hammer. Hammer. He's, He's got some sweet glasses. I was kicker in a college football game the other day. I had like the hugest sport glasses I've ever seen. Oh, look at that. I don't think Aaron Nola usually pitches with a stocking under his arm, but that's it's pretty cool. Funny, actually, they photoshopped all his images. I, actually, I think I really like this set this year. There's a Guerrero. That's nice. I think they did a really good job with it, made it fun. If anybody is like going, oh, these things don't have any value. Well, yeah, they really, they're not like the same thing as other cards. These are just more fun. And they're set up, I think, to get other people in the uh, into collecting. Uh, my girls, uh, a 13 and a 9-year-old, 
that love to open these with me and it's fun because they like to see what kind of variations we pull and um, just look at the cards like they like the glitter cards these uh, metallic cards so it's fun it's a Devers thanks for leaving my name out of there well it's like I don't love Luke doesn't cards with you. Luke doesn't like it either he like, well, he only it? likes fancy cards he's kind of a card snob yeah like triple threads is like low end for me right exactly so here's the box for the holiday and then there's the chrome so uh, let us know in the comments below what one do you like uh, have you opened up both have you opened up one if you had to buy one which one would you buy um, I think they're both fun to, to rip uh, I think there is a tiny bit more value in the holiday boxes just because of the guaranteed hit and uh, the amount of cards you get but at the same time you can hit a monster out of the chrome but it's incredibly hard to do that so let us know in the comments below which one you like and how'd you like the break uh, please like comment subscribe we'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching and luke i'm glad you do like opening up holiday cards so thanks for watching guys take care and have fun collecting we'll see you in the next one